what up what up what up in this video we are going to jump into some of the latest stimulus package news and more specifically how the next stimulus package should be released next week and unfortunately not this week but of course before we do don't forget to like this video it does help with the youtube algorithm so other people that need to know this information other people that need to prepare for you know another week of not getting uh, any real update about the $1,200 or the PUA, you know, they need to know this information and you liking this video helps YouTube with putting this information, this content in front of those viewers. So definitely give it a nice little thumbs up. After you do that, hit the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell. So then you guys can stay up to date on all of my latest videos. And after that, leave a comment down below about this news that you can see right here in the title about the next stimulus package to be released next week and not this week. Weeble. Enjoy tech. Enjoy investing. Click the link down below to learn how you can get two free stocks. Interactivevideoacademy.com an e-learning platform for self-employed. All right, guys, so first and foremost, really quickly, before we jump into this article, I do want to, I know uh, I got a bunch of uh, comments that I need to respond to. I've been doing really well with getting back to people. I'm in a fairly timely manner. Um, I actually just had a moving gig. So among the services I provide, if you guys check out my website, you can see the my brand, my company, uh, Adam Helper behind me. Um, you'll see I offer a, a wide variety of services. And this is this has been my kind of recession proof, uh, you know, approach that I've taken with everything going on because of the Rona and the lockdowns. I've been able to stay afloat. Yes, I, I did technically rely on some of these um, government programs, these uh, stimulus package programs and whatnot to help me. But um, that was, you know, kind of for a short period of time in which at this point, I'm pretty much fine now the momentum has is going in the right direction and you know for example with the PUA the self-employment um, uh, uh, unemployment program um, I'm probably almost certainly not going to continue to collect from that anymore um, and and things are heading in the right direction for me I had a moving job going from here in Boston here in Cambridge uh, all the way down to North Carolina and I think that's why um, you guys are probably seeing the zip van um zip car uh ad over there on the side um because i was just looking into them as a potential uh option to help with you know transporting to help with moving my cu uh, customers belongings i do also own a cargo van i own a ford e250 cargo van that i purchased about a year ago to help with uh, moving jobs as well as yard work gigs and disposing, you know, big heavy things and things like that. Um, so uh, I'm back home. I'm about to actually grub right now because like my whole sleeping and eating schedule is completely thrown off because I basically punched that out in um, in like 24 hours. Uh, but then like I got back and just I've been kind of not really all there because I didn't really sleep as much as I should have. Um, and yeah, not recommended. Um, you know, if you're a little crazy, or you're a little insane. Okay. Maybe you can do it. Um, but you know, you gotta be a little crazy. Um, otherwise I would definitely recommend or suggest taking your customer's offer to get a hotel or a motel and stay there. Um, I, you know, with the Rona and everything, I don't have any preconditions or, you know, I'm fine, but I still just didn't want to stay in some hotel and, you know, I, yeah, yeah. I, and I want to try to be as efficient as possible for my customers and keep it as cheap as possible. Me staying in a hotel would have only cost them even more money. And part of the reason, you know, I have such good reviews and I have customers who continue to come back to me is because I take care of them. Um, you know, rather we're talking moving stuff, yard work or sales and mar uh, sales and marketing, consulting, helping with actual marketing, you know, uh, strategies and getting ads out, things like that. Um, you know, the whole spectrum. So, I apologize for not putting out any video over the past day or two. Um, and, uh, you know, we back in the mix, baby. So um, hopefully everyone is having a solid start to your week. Um, I, I figured this would be a, an article I'd jump in because there really hasn't been as much progress as we would like there to be around, you know, stimulus talk, you know, the $1,200 or $1,000 or would it be $2,000 for multiple months? 
Um, I mean, yeah, they're still talking. They're they're going back and forth, but there hasn't been anything that's been confirmed yet. Um, you know, yes, you can go check out Meet Kevin or Clear Value Tax or um, some of some of these other uh, individuals that are putting out videos every day, and they are. You know, I applaud them for staying on top of things, but ultimately, there's not really much change that has happened. Um, you know, too much change that has happened. So, you know, I don't want to just have you guys watching videos that i'm not really saying anything and even this i mean you guys see the title right here this is probably it you know so if you want to jump ship you can um i do feel like you know it's important to kind of give you some a little information a little background info or jump into the articles themselves um and and i always do include the link so this link to this article will be down below so you see the title if you feel like hey we heard enough you know, or you want to look into it yourself, there will be a link to this down in the description area. That's my kind of my game plan, how I usually approach these videos for any of you new YouTubers or viewers. Um, and if you're someone who has, you know, followed, followed along for a little bit now, and you kind of know how I, I like to flow, I like to read these, but also throw in my two cents, because, you know, it's good, it's good to get your, your thoughts out there and kind of see what other people also think, which is why I encourage you guys to leave a comment, letting me know what you guys think about this as well. Um, but as you can see, the next stimulus package to be released next week, um, we'll jump into this. Um, it's reported by CNBC that Senate leader Mitch McConnell will be releasing the next stimulus bill next week. He had he had hoped to release it today, but appears the package will be delayed until next week. He said the Trump administration has requested additional time to review the fine details, but will but we will be laying down the proposal early next week. We have an agreement in principle on the shape of the package. What are some of the details we've heard about? $1,200 stimulus check. Treasury Secretary Steve Munchen confirmed earlier today that a stimulus check would make it into the next bill. And speaking of building on what worked in the CARES Act, we want another round of direct payments to help American families keep driving our national comeback. It will match the stimulus check created by the CARES Act, which created a refundable tax credit of $1,200 to qualifying Americans who earned less than $75,000. It added an extra $500 for dependent children ages 16 and younger. Joint filers would get $24,000. Uh, $24,000 for those who earn less than 150 k If you earn more than those limits, your stimulus check amounts will be reduced by 5% of the adjusted gross income above those limits. And then lower unemployment benefits. So that PUA we're talking about. With a delay until next week, it's almost assured that the federal unemployment benefits of $600 per week will expire. We've heard mention of benefits being lowered to $200 or less per week. We have no con concrete information about the next round of unemployment benefits, but Secretary Munchen has said that he hopes to adjust it to 70% of wages. And I do have another video that dives into this and some other, you know, um, other ideas or proposals that have kind of been brought to the table about the PUA, the unemployment. So you can look back at some of my previous videos from last week that dive into this information in more detail. And then there's additional aid to states. It appears that the Republican proposal would not add any additional funding to state and local governments, but would amend the CARES Act to add flexibility to the funding that was previously allocated. And I think things like this are what is preventing, you know, the Hills Act um, uh, or the CARES Act, um, you know, from moving forward because, you know, uh, states need funding. They need more assistance. Um, and, you know, the fact that the Republicans proposal does not add any additional funding um, is probably what's holding is one of those factors that's holding things up. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, like it says at the end of it, but would amend would amend the CARES Act to add flexibility to the funding that was previously allocated. So mm, we'll see. Payroll tax cut. On numerous occasions, President Trump has called for a payroll tax cut. And just this past Sunday, in an interview with Chris Wallace, he said that he might not sign a bill without one. On CNBC, all these freaking ads. I don't. I don't. Why is Geico showing up? 
on CNBC on Thursday, Treasury Secretary, actually, I know why Geico's showing up. I was considering unemployment, um, not unemployment, but self-employed uh, insurance is what I do need um, for you know, some of my, my businesses that I uh, provide, some of the services I provide. So uh, that makes sense why that ad was showing up and I was seeing SEM Rush because I do marketing stuff. So um, in any case, uh, on CNBC on Thursday, Treasury Secretary Munchen said that the payroll tax cut will not be included in the base bill. President Trump followed up with a tweet that blamed Democrats for its exclusion. And I don't know why the tweet's not showing up. I kind of want to see what the tweet says, though. Don't you guys want to see what the tweet says? <laughs> so we're going to refresh the page. Hopefully I appear and this loads up. I don't know what is going on with the Internet today. Here in Massachusetts and Boston, they said something about like a tornado watch or heart. Some, something crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm, you know. I haven't fully slept. Like I said, I, I'm, you know, I did that 24 hour gig basically, you know, hit the road at like seven and seven, left my place at like six 30 and got back at my place at about nine 30. Um, and I probably slept for about mm, 30 minutes. Maybe, maybe I drifted off a little bit more than that, but definitely less than an hour. Um, and it was all pretty much drive time. The move itself was really easy. You know, it was a cargo van full of boxes, pretty much a few other, you know, a small exercise bike, a few other little things. But the move itself wasn't that bad. Um, it was just all of the drive time. And when you're doing it alone, you don't have someone else that you're talking to to keep you awake and things like that. It, it just can take a it can take a toll on you. So um, I apologize if I'm not all there. Um, but we want to see Trump's tweet. So the payroll tax cut. After Steve Munchen, as I said, said that the payroll tax cut would not be included in the base bill, President Trump followed up with the tweet that blamed Democrats for its exclusion. Now, mind you, Secretary Steve Munchen is a Republican. Um, um, actually, why am I going again? My my me not getting all this sleep and stuff. Um, I just want to confirm. Because I know people, yeah, Republican Party. I know people love to chew me up when I when I say something that's wrong, <laughs> um, you know. And that's part of the reason why I do approach my videos like this, where I find an, an article from a legit source like Forbes, um, and I like to just kind of read it because if people want to chew me up, it's not really me that chewing up; it's Forbes or you know whoever the author is of these of the sources that I'm relying on. Um, so. You know, I like to, you know, I wanted to confirm that. So this is funny because, um, you know, as this, as this says here, uh, Steve Munchen said that the payroll tax cut would not be included in the base bill. But then President Trump followed up with the tweet that blamed Democrats for its exclusion. So, so typical. <laughs> um, and it's not funny because there are people out there. There's so many people out there that like religiously follow Trump or or. Um, uh, Mitch McConnell on Twitter and they believe everything they say. And I hope none of you guys are in that bucket or if you are in that bucket, maybe I hope I hope some of you are in that bucket, but you're willing to listen to others and, 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 and you know, maybe do your own research um, to see what the truth is, because too many people would just go, well, Trump said this and it's like, OK, Trump has lied more than any other president in our history. He's probably lied more than any of you watching this video. And yes, I'm sure some of you lie a lot. I've seen some comments where people definitely lie <laughs> on my videos and I'm like, mm, OK, buddy. Um, so, you know, do your do your homework, do your research. You know, you don't have to just listen to me. You can Google the things I say. And when I'm wrong, I own up to it if I'm wrong. You know, it is what it is. No one's perfect. But some people lie a lot more than others, including our current president. So that's a fact. That's not a debate. <laughs> He's lied more than any other president in, in our history, in the world, probably. Um, and, and, you know, I say that not to say I hate, you know, Republicans because I'm not a Democrat. But, uh, you know, well, let's read his tweet. The Democrats have stated strongly that they won't approve a payroll tax cut too bad. Uh, 
It would be great for workers. The Republicans, therefore, didn't want to ask for it. Dems, as usual, are hurting the working men and women of our country. This set up a scenario in which he can sign a bill without the payroll tax and blame it on the Democrats, despite many Republicans being against the cut. So it's not like he's making it again. He's saying it's just the Democrats and the Republicans therefore didn't want to ask for it. But yet there are many Republicans who are against it as well. So, yeah, we're going to keep it moving, though. <laughs> and so the question is, how does this affect the timeline, all of this stuff? Well, if the Senate leader doesn't unveil the details of the bill until next Monday, that leaves just 10 business days for legislators to come to an agreement. Considering what has been leaked out and how Democrats have responded, it appears extremely unlikely that a deal would get done before the Senate is set to recess on August 7th. The recess could be pushed back, but that has not yet been, uh, but that has yet to be decided. If a bill cannot be passed by the time Congress goes to recess, neither chamber is scheduled to return until after Labor Day. So, in other words, these these individuals that we voted and put in to, you know, to take to to look out for us, for our best interests, they're going on an, another recess. Well, while we're in the midst of you know, one of the worst crises our country has ever experienced. And they are now if if you cut if we took their pay away, I guarantee you they would have come up with a solution by now. <laughs> guarantee it. If we said, all right, you know what? Let's let's get rid of their money. Let's let's cut their paycheck because, you know, most Americans right now are struggling, trying to get by and need, you know, the stimulus check. They need the self-employment assistance. Um, they can't work. And so, you know, money is it's people are tight. People are struggling to get by. And you have these individuals that are just playing a little tennis match going back and forth when, you know, in reality, it's like, I mean, more than 1200. I personally believe, you know, that I think the two thousand dollars stimulus um, stimulus check each month. Um, I mean, I think a continue continuation of it being more than one month is would be good. I don't think tw uh, two thousand dollars. Um, I think that might be a bit much. And, you know, I, I agree that people need assistance and that the government should support people um, or there should be some sort of program out there. Uh, um, but I, I just did my I've been doing so well with not doing it. Um, so I'm not even going to cut that out. We're going to let it we're just going to let it let it play because that was it happened. But I've been if some of you look at some of my previous videos, you'll hear me occasionally do. And, and it's kind of annoying and it's not professional and I have on camera experience, so I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but in any case, uh, yeah, it's like people need help. People need help now. And we got these, these politics, these politicians playing tennis with each other. And it's like half of them are buddy buddies. You know, they, when they're in front of the camera and stuff, they'll talk trash and, say this, that, and the other, and then it's like when the cameras are away, they're, they're like having a drink together and, you know, shooting the ish, you know? So this is what's wrong with like everything going on right now. It's like, they're, it's like, yeah, they, some of them really do want to take care of Americans and support us. Um, and others are just like looking out for themselves. It's like one of the proposals mentioned, like writing off, ha having meals that meals and, um, the business meals that you can write off 100% of, which usually it's 50%. But now with all of this stuff going on, Republicans wanted to throw in a, you know, 100% write off on all meals and stuff. And it's like, who is who's having a business meeting and stuff like that out like out and about now? Like that's not the normal American. Like these, everything that should be talked about right now should be really benef most beneficial to Americans, struggling Americans, working in lower class Americans first and foremost. Then, OK, you guys can iron out some details about some of those other things. But let's solidify. Let's get everything concrete, you know, confirmed regarding the, the, the core of what needs to be done for American people who are struggling. So that's just my thoughts, my two cents. But as you guys just heard right here, I mean, Senate is set to recess on August 7th. And, you know, if they don't have something pretty much. Oh, I mean, doesn't unveil the details of the bill until next Monday.
and then that leaves them 10 days like this is crazy they should have had this should have been done and and that's the other funny thing about like like i said going back to the tweets that mitch and trump will will post you can go back and look at go look at mitch mcconnell's and uh his tw twitter account and he continuously is blaming democrats for things but again the heralds act and i did a video on the heralds act like maybe two months ago <laughs> Um, the Heroes Act was proposed by Democrats to prevent this stuff from happening right now when, you know, self-employment, unemployment uh, benefits, the $600 a week, things like that was still in motion. That was why they presented it then, because they wanted to have that kind of in place. So by the time the program was done with, they would already, you know, the ball would continue moving, you know, continue moving forward and, and there wouldn't be this break that people are, you know, dealing with now because of the games that, you know, Democrats and Republicans are both playing right now. Um, so, you know, things, things are a little, eh, not, not good. You know, they should have, this should have already been presented, um, you know, let alone last week or weeks ago, um, this week at the latest, but now, you know, we're hearing that we might not potentially get any, um, real package or anything any real news until n next week crazy but maybe again maybe it was just you know maybe i i it's the lack of sleep and you know i got some food over here from dom's dom's in uh malden if you guys are in massachusetts area you're near boston go to dom's uh it's like dom sausage company or something like that they have their steak tips mm. Steak tip dinner is my go-to, so I grabbed that, and then I grabbed the sausage uh, sub as well. Um, both are bomb diggity. I haven't said the bomb in, in years, but they are the bomb, and I would definitely recommend going there because I got to eat that um, and probably get some more sleep. But maybe I'm not far-fetched. Maybe I'm still, you know, thinking, you know, rationally and, and making sense. Um, what do you guys think about this news that we might not potentially, you know, get a uh, next stimulus package um to be released until next week comment down below with your thoughts would love to hear what you guys think I, as usual i will try to respond to each and every one of you um after you do that hit that like button because this is information that needs to get out there to people people need to know they need to be prepared for kind of this timeline of when you know they may ooh, i did a little one when they may or may not be getting you know stimulus checks or um you know uh, unemployment assistance as well. Um, you know, so it's important that this video gets out there to, to let those people know, because some people thought we were already going to be having the check and had planned for, okay, well, you know, things will be ironed out like by this date. And then, you know, maybe it'll take like another month for the actual stimulus checks to be sent out and deposited. And it's like, man, this half of that time frame is already done with. And they still haven't come up with an agreement. So it's important that people come across this information. Also, really quickly, if you guys are in a tight position, you are looking for additional income. I do have a video. I'll add a link down below that I made last week on over 100 different gig apps that you can sign up with um, to help you with making more money now with everything going on, but also after everything with the Rona and this lockdown, because a lot of these apps have been around for a while. Most people know of like Uber and Lyft or Grubhub, DoorDash, but there are hundreds, literally hundreds. There's literally over a hundred other apps that you guys can consider checking out to help you with making some money. You know, you just gotta, you, know, you gotta hustle, you know, you gotta find the things that align with your services, your skill set, things that you've done. Maybe, maybe, you know, you don't want to do, you don't have a car. So Lyft and Uber cross those off, DoorDash cross those off. But there are other services out there. You know, there's apps like Upwork and Fiverr, TaskRabbit, um, you know, that like I'm on some of these apps myself. And these are some of the apps that I rely on to, to, to you know, pay my bills and keep me afloat and help me moving forward with investing and, and so on and so on. So, you know, they are legit. You can make a livable wage on, on, on a lot of these apps. Uh, and, you know, of course, there are other things I do. And, and how I market myself and whatnot. But, um, you know, I, I definitely want to encourage some of you guys out there to check out that video if you are looking for extra income right now during these difficult times. And again, after the lockdown, maybe you don't want to go back to your job and you hated it. Well, some of these apps, and maybe, maybe you have to get on multiple apps, but being able to be, you know, your own boss and create your own schedule is something that I love 
about you know this whole gig economy and culture and all these apps because if i don't want to do something i don't have to do it you know now yeah you might get penalized in terms of like your your ratings and things like that um by by passing up a gig or you know different apps have different structures but as a whole i create my schedule i'm my own boss you know if i don't want to do something because i don't think it pays enough then i don't do it so excuse me um so you know i definitely want to make sure i put that to your attention i will include a link to that video down below in the description area um as well as some of those other uh links to other uh, helpful video and content that i've created for you guys so uh let me know what you guys think like i said leave a comment hit that like button so other people have a better chance to come across this video that need to know this information and then hit the subscribe button with that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on my latest video content all right guys i'm gonna keep it moving but you already know i'll see you in the next video peace